your question in response to male female relation you want to know how to know if the message or the thought is coming from the mind or the heart you have to understand a few things before this firstly there are two ways of living one is the way of consciousness the other is the way that we know the way of consciousness means the candle the lamp is lit within and you are living in that light this is the life of rebel you will create even your friends as your enemies you will be going against the stream of the society because you are guided by your own light the inner light that sees beyond time and space for example when we are interacting in the world of objects and beings we have to take into account many things for instance as a human being we have to follow certain rules that are set by our society if you are a part of that but a rebel is not part of that and you remember you do not want, belong to the animal kingdom either in case of animals there is no restriction there is no morality they live in a state of unconscious or and subconscious man is in the on the border line of subconscious unconscious and conscious he can be simultaneously either of the three a dog can make love to his own mother or father there is no obstruction no restriction but as a human being a man you cannot do this because you are partly conscious but sometimes your action can be unconscious arising out of unconscious there are certain individuals who exist in human form but their behavior is animalistic arising out of unconscious and subconscious but exploring the subconscious and unconscious is also very important remember each moment we interact with objects and beings as we travels along life's roads all of a sudden you see a beautiful person male or female attraction comes towards that it becomes difficult to immediately pinpoint from where the attraction is coming is it coming from the mere physical level or it is coming from the deep within if the light is there within then the message will come from there and why does this happen because of the desires the unfulfilled desires when we interact into a male female relation we are not totally into it we are eating food we are not into it totally we are not meditative in our actions you are doing something but thinking something else that act is not being performed meditatively it will leave many things incomplete when you are eating food and if you are not eating consciously then you will go on eating you will not be satiated the same thing arises between any kind of relation relation with the objects and beings you are interacting with a 
spouse, male or female, but you are not meditatively interacting in that relationship. You are making love to one person but thinking of something else. The satiation at the physical level comes, sex becomes a sneeze, it does not give you total fulfillment. Then you hanker again. What happens? When you eat, you are hungry, you eat food and it does not satiate you. Satiation comes from something else, from awareness. Had it been so, you would have eaten and then little while after you feel hungry again. This also happens also with the quality of the food and the quality with which you are interacting in the act of eating. When you are entering into male-female relation, if you are meditative into it, firstly you enter into this relation because of the physical needs, then that is perfectly okay. You can enter into any relation. You are going to cook food because you are hungry. But then you are cooking food meditatively, lovingly. You are pouring into your total being into the process of cooking. And when you have finished, you are eating food in the same way. This will give you satiation. Why do people go get uh, obesity? Because they are unconscious in the process of cooking food and then after the food is being cooked, they are unconscious in the process of eating the food. They go on eating because the body remains hungry and you are not listening to the language of the body. Body has its own language, it will tell you no more. But your mind says that this particular dish is very tasty and I may not get it. Right now I am getting it free. So you go on stuffing yourself with it. Awareness is the main criteria behind anything. Whether it is here when you are going to eat, this is also you are entering into a relationship with the food. When you are entering into a male-female relation, again you are entering into a relation. You have to be aware what you have to eat. Psychologists say if you keep various dishes in front of an infant, he will choose only that which is beneficial to him. And if the child is suffering from cold or fever or anything, that time he will pick up only those things which are beneficial to him in that ailment. Man suffers from an ailment of lacking something. This is the natural instinct of the child. But in the process of growth, in the process of development, this natural habit, natural instinct is curtailed. Then the child lives in a haphazard manner. In the same way, when you are entering into a relation with the person, you have to be very particular. What are your what does your and if you are conscious at that time you are aware means inner light is there then you will like to analyze the situation at every level because you remember you are still part of the society you're going into relation with this person how is this going to affect your family your social network Remember you are not an animal who can make love to his own parents, own brothers and sisters. 
But as a human being, you have to think in terms of that. And there you have to think in terms of how is this going to affect everything. And if all the at the, you are questioning at all the levels, and when you get this solitary answer, one answer from at all the levels, then you can go into that. This is why the men of awareness do not want to leave anything incomplete. Many times I have given you an example. We are unconscious. For the same person, different thoughts arise at different times. Sometimes you are very loving to you, a person. That person may be your spouse. But other times you are very hateful because he or she has done something that you dislike. Different types of emotions arise in you each finite moment even while interacting with the same person. Now remember any time any thought or emotion arises it cannot be destroyed. It remains there and if it is not dissolved it will continue to bother you in many ways. As a person, you have interacted with many people, may have many relations, but none of these relations were out of awareness. The satiation did not happen. What is the outcome? That unfulfilled desire continues to surface again and again and the moment you see something you see food man or a woman is also a food at a certain level you are hungry so you want to consume that person through interactions through relations you have to think how many times you have entered into relation with all these objects and beings meditatively or unconsciously and what has been the outcome. You enter into a relation and then after some time you find that things do not go your way, we part away, we separate. Satiation has not happened. Again after some time the desire arises you look at it, you are hungry. That's why you have gone into the fridge, taken out the things, whatever were available, and then you have eaten. You have got a pack of fries, you have eaten it, empty calories. But then after some time again you feel hungry. But if when you open your fridge and your choice is of healthy food, which is going to give you nourishment to the very core of your being, you balance your meals, then what happens? You will not feel hungry that much. When you enter into a sex relation with your spouse, male or female, if you enter into meditatively, then satiation comes. And ultimately a stage comes then you are so satiated that you do not have any more desire to enter into male-female relation. Knowingly and consciously you have opted out of this relationship. You will not hanker anymore. That is where you have attained totality through this male-female relation. This does not happen with the food. I was giving you the example as a transitory one. But since the question relates more to the attraction for the other, why is there attraction for the other? Because there is something lacking in you. And that which is lacking in you, you want to get it fulfilled through the other, 
no fulfillment can come through the other all fulfillment satiation in life comes through the inner light when the inner light inner lamp is lit consciousness is at the play then you realize the futility of all these things you realize that each time you relate to someone it's a bondage but then while living in this society is a part of the world you have to have a certain kind of so you have to gather certain things around you but you are not attached to it you may have furniture in your house a living room set maybe you may not sit on it for days as you enter the house you straight away you have gone into your bedroom but then that is part of the necessity so too if you feel that having a spouse is a necessity out of desire use your consciousness why is this necessary and if you have found that it is necessary because there are unfulfilled desires then you have to weigh certain other things is it proper for me to go into relation with this person what will be the repercussions of it and when you have made your decision stick to it remember in the first place when you decided to choose this his spouse it was love that was lurking behind the scene was it simply out of lust and that you have called it love then it is not going to be a right decision then it, in that case it is better to have a instant relation where you have no bondage go to a prostitute finish the relationship and that is it you have no bondage when you are entering into a relation with a spouse there are many things involved in it and once you have made a decision you remember that it was you who made the decision you have to stick to it and attain to fruition that this thing does not happen again how long can you go on in this pursuit of the of that which is ephemeral sometimes or the other you have to end this process of hankering for the food hankering for husband whole day if you are hankering for food when would you get time to meditate and even for you food is not meditation you have to make everything meditation and the moment you make everything make whether it is eating food whether it is bathing whether it is walking whether it is driving whether it is working or making love everything when it becomes meditation then life will have a different quality your satiation will be of a different nature then you will not be hankering for this male female relation hankering for whole day for food and thinking of what to eat now you have eaten this what to eat now that is what happens there you have eaten and then you want to know what else is there to eat what dessert you have what drinks you have uh, for us to consume so your whole emphasis is on the same arises with the male female relation you enter into this relation you are not satiated you abandon you enter into another relation again satiation does not happen because you have not entered into that relationship meditatively lack of awareness then this process will continue but as a seeker you have to think of when and how to make the full stop to this so that you can go on eternal voyage life is short any moment the life force the breath that comes in may not come in and that is the end 
When would you get time to move on the eternal journey, journey of consciousness? The life is given to you, the car is given to you, you bought a car for what? To every night to go for lining, every night to go to these clubs, every night to go to the restaurants, but never getting a chance to go to the church or to the any other occasions. Did you buy the car for that purpose alone? No. You bought the car for your pleasure and business. When you go on a trip, it is always said you are going on a pleasure or business. The business of a seeker is to seek the eternal. Pleasure is part of life and in pleasure you seek the eternal. In pleasure you are seeking the that which is eternal, beyond time and space, beyond death, beyond birth. Then life will have a meaning. You have chosen a spouse which is also a vehicle. You are entering into a relationship. Now, no one forced you to choose this person. Did anyone force you? You said you defied all and everyone saying that you really love this person. Love really plenty you love him. What happened all of a sudden? Where that love have evaporated? Were you unconscious that time but you never accepted that? You made your own choice. When you make a choice in the restaurant, being attracted by the picture of a food, what do you do? You have spent the money. Can you discard that? Sometimes if you have plenty of resources, then you can discard that dish. In the selection of the dishes at the restaurant, you are very selective. So too, in the choice of the spouse, you have to be selective so that this gives you satiation. And when you analyze the entire situation at all the levels, because you are part of the society, you have not alienated yourself from the society. You still want to be part of your friend circle, your social life. The life of rebelliousness has not yet evolved. A man of consciousness is rebellious. He rebels against the social norms and the society. Then it is perfectly okay because he lives in his own world. And according to the world, and the society, he is eccentric. People may not accept him because his ways and means are totally against that of the society. But that is not the case. You have to look at it at physical level, at the mental level of emotions, intellectual level. For instance, you like a person who is already married, how would it affect? Is it proper for you to go into the relationship with such a person? Unless you are living with your awareness, then there are ways and means to dissolve this attraction through meditation, through logic, through understanding. Because entering into such a relation is going to be a chaos. You have to avoid things like these. I have many times given you the example from the scriptures. According to the Hindu way, there had been various incarnations of the Lord of Trinity, Vishnu. In one of the incarnations, to subjugate the atrocities of a demon king, he assumed the form of a midget, a ten-year-old boy. When he went 
to this particular king as a 10 year old boy his daughter ratnamala fell in love with this boy she felt an attraction and normally when a male feels attraction for the female or the female feels the attraction for male it is for physical relations then because this boy was 10 years old so that daughter cannot make love to this boy what is the other alternative so a thought comes to her mind that i wish i could breastfeed this because this is another when you breastfeed a thought of breastfeeding a child comes to your mind there is no obstruction to it but if a thought comes to your mind for an adult that i wish he could suckle my breasts that will not be accepted giving hug to an adult may be misunderstood when you give a hug to a child no one objects in the same way if a male feels an attraction towards the female and his society he is bound by the social laws how would he express his attraction towards that female person he may say that maybe i wish you were my mother or maybe in the next life i wish to be born as your child what is behind this firstly he felt an attraction towards this person but he was bound by the social laws so he manipulated the thing now nobody will consider it wrong that you can be my mother but why do you want somebody to be the mother because something is lacking you are molding that attraction that you felt towards that person by saying that but ultimately mother and the child can hug one another even if the child is bigger child has become old an adult child can give hug to his mother nothing wrong but the same person if he goes and gives a hug to someone else there may be a reaction so this is how we interact into the society so ratnamala felt attraction towards this boy child the incarnation in the form of a midget and immediately a thought came to her mind i wish i could breast feed her now once a thought has come thought is energy and it cannot be destroyed then when he had gotten the promise from the king about the boon that he came to seek he assumed his divine form and he asked for three footsteps of land so when the promise was made he assumed his human his divine form and in two steps the entire land was measured now the third step was still incomplete so he asked the king where should i put the third step so the king said that you put that step on my head that will be the end of these atrocities so when this happened and ratnamala saw this she was filled with rage and that time a thought came to her mind i wish i could kill him i could kill him now again this person is the same you are guided by his act and different types of thought comes in this happens every day in our lives and because of that we separate we part away with our relations we part away with the opportunity to go beyond the relationships and the life continues unsatiated now these thoughts cannot be destroyed and this is what happens you have entered into one relation and leave it incomplete without attaining to its fruition no seed no thought thought is a seed 
that must attain to its fruition and if it is left incomplete it will continue to bother you in various ways and means and you will be accumulating more and more thoughts when you are hungry and you are eating unhealthy foods the thought remains what to eat now you are never satiated but then when you are eating food consciously meditatively then a little food gives you satiation and you do not feel hungry for a longer period of time same way when you enter into a male female relation meditatively then you are not leaving anything incomplete there is a total satiation and you are exiting out of that relation after being satiated then there will no more be hankering for any more relation because i have miles to go before i sleep and many more other realms to explore before i take the final sleep this you have to keep in mind if you desire to enter into any relation you have to think at all the different things you listen to this talk again and again that becomes part of your understanding then it will be easy for you to make any decision that you want to make remember anything there are three planes a physical plane because the attraction comes through the physical body then there is a emotional plane because when you enter into any relation at the phys- through the physical level you enter the second layer which is emotional layer as long as you say hello and bye and hi to a person you have not entered into any emotional relation with him but then when you give him a hug or you enter into a physical relation you are bound to enter into the second layer of emotions and if you have not attained the emotional maturity or if you are not meditative then there will be fickleness in your dealings the moment the person does things that you like you are loving towards him the moment he does something which you do not like there will be different set of emotions you will be in an ocean of emotional disturbances this is what happens to everyone we consider our spouse to be our possessions if he if you see him talking to someone else with some pleasant gestures jealousy may come in the lack of emotional maturity leads to jealousy jealousy leads to anger anger leads to many other things in extreme state of anger we do things which have many repercussions then the last is the layer that is intellectual layer means a deeper understanding if all the three layers the physical where the attraction has come the emotional and the intellectual the level of understanding that explain the solitary truth then it is coming from the deepest core of your being then you can enter into it you can entertain that particular thought but you have to accept it and entertain it meditatively with total awareness until and allow it to attain fruition only then you can move forward but your situation is like the one who has to go for a great celebration but you are not 
yet ready because every moment you eat something you feel hungry you put on this set of clothes you are not happy you change it and in that day you again feel hungry so you remain between changing the clothes and eating and the time is lapsing be aware do anything that you do with full awareness and once you have made your decision you have to stick to it only then you can attain a transcendence transcendence comes through awareness and trusting your awareness because when the decision comes out of your awareness you have to learn to trust it and be with it until you attain a transcendence only this much for on this question how to know whether this particular attraction is coming from the mind or the heart